lads and ladies and welcome to this now today we are back for another video on the channel now two videos in three days of people leaving the club we've had joey barton getting the boot at fleetwood town we've done videos and streams on that today is one that we expected after joey came out a couple of weeks ago and announced this news that chad evans will be leaving the football club now, I believe it was after the Wigan Athletic home game where Chad Evans hadn't been in the side for the Portsmouth away game and hadn't been in the side for the Wigan um, home game as well. So, didn't make the trip over to Portsmouth, didn't play against Wigan and it was worrying. I, I was thinking, where is he? It could be obviously the pandemic, it could be injury, but Barton confirmed uh, a bit of a disagreement between the two and he won't play for Fleetwood again. And he's left the building, but he also conducted himself by saying he would never play under him again. So he believed that Chad Evans was still at the football club. So there's a little bit of backstory. And after that, there's been loads of clubs interested. Ipswich, Sunderland, Preston being the main three. And today has joined Preston North End now. For me, it's a good move for Chad. Chad Evans can stay local. He's got a young family. He can stay where he lives right now because Preston and Fleetwood are like, what, 15 miles away from each other. Um, he's got to step up to a championship club, a, quite a steady championship club. The mid-table, they've won 10, drawn 2, lost 11 this season. They don't score many goals. The top goal scorer is Scott Sinclair on 7. And after that, you've got Barcoos on a few, Maguire on a few three or four so I think he'll add goals there he's a good hold up striker and one of my main things with Chad Chad Evans came to the football club and we all thought oh it's Chad Evans you know he's passed but he was found not guilty and Evans third season I think he scored 18 goals the second season I think he got 13 or 14 goals and then this season he scored four or five goals already so he scored 37 goals for the football club he's our third all-time top goal scorer in EFL in the EFL like league one um, and league two uh, just the like the league games and uh, not cup and, uh, and FA Cup included etc but he was a goal scorer he was a good penalty taker he held the ball he gave us a different outlet he was Brilliant in some games this year. Remember that whole game was unplayable, and he earned us a lot of points. But again, Barton leaves, as does Evans. I think the deal would already have been done. I think Chad Evans would have been our, one of our highest earners as well. So it's he is off our way budget. Can we bring someone in? I hope so. I really think that we need to bring someone in to replace him. But Evans, it's disappointing that he had a row with Barton. I think it's about to spin the wheel and. Again, he had a punishment, and then um, he come, Then he had an argument about gloves, about wearing warm clothes, and then he brought it up for Barton wearing it, and Barton wasn't happy. There are other elements to it, I would imagine. I don't think it would just be that. But a good player, a good servant, two and a half years. He was on loan the first year, signed permanent, and I believe it will be he won't play for us again now um, because his contract at the end of the season runs out, and then... He's free to go, but he's on loan till press until the end of the season. I wish Chad luck because fantastic guy with me, fantastic athlete, fantastic footballer. Um, a lot of the press and fans aren't happy, uh, saying it's a, a bad signing, 32-year-old striker from League One. But I just think lower your expectations. If he had goals to your side, give him a chance, wait to see him play. Don't judge him when you see him, in my opinion. And uh, you can't wish it any better luck, but... You know, he, I think that might have been a part in Joey leaving the club, the row that they had. I think Pilly saw that and thought maybe we need to change it up for the best, for the whole changing room. And, you know, Fleetwood are left with Saunders now up front, Madden up front. It is thin as a centre forward role. Wingers, we've got Mackay, Morris, uh, obviously Wes Burns as well. Shaden Morris coming into the fold, Mackay. So, out wide we're okay, but up front we've only got two real strikers. And I said it at the start of the year, I think we're going to need someone else. I just don't think Jed Garner cuts the mustard just yet. But Evans leaves the club. It's a shame. Good servant, good player. Um, and again, just a shame he had a row with Joey. Like Barton said, I think he needs fresh ideas. Fleetwood are now looking for a striker and a manager. We are in the January transfer window now, so we can bring players in to the club. But... It's a shame because I hate the end of the year with players that have been there, but a good servant for us. Some fans called him lazy. 
so yeah, but he has goals and he worked hard in my opinion. And again, you know, he came and he scored goals for us. He added vital goals. He was good with Madden up front. He held the ball up. Madden could make runs in behind. So he's got loads of good traits. But Evans leaves the club. We have to move on now. We have to move on from Joey. Where it's a fresh start. And Andy Pilly tweeted the other day that it was a tough decision to make. But he wants to go into something different. He wants a different direction with his quote. And um, hopefully we can get a manager in as soon as possible. But it's Simon Wiles for the time being. And I'm so pleased for him. He's a great coach and will go far in the game. But Trent Evans leaves, press, leaves the Preston. It's a shame Preston's game fleet was lost. There is today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.